Okay. What's good? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Trey Five Seven Productions. Get with it. Get left behind. Right now, this video is me speaking on. Uh, and feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section. Um, I want to hear what y'all got to say about what I'm about to speak on. These people walking around holding up these signs talking about spare me some change. What little bit you got can help. A little bit goes a long way. Um, I have a problem with that. For no reason should you be walking around talking about put some change in my cup. Put some change in my cup. Help me out with what little bit you can. So the little bit that I do get, or if I got a lot, why would I give it to you? You got two hands, your fingers, you can see, you can hear, you can talk, and you can walk. So if you can sit up here and hold up a sign that say, feed me, uh, give me some change. You can hold up a sign in front of a store saying grand opening. Um, it's a grand opening. Stop in. Uh, you can hold up a sign that say clearance. That way. You can hold up a sign for um, PennDOT, construction crews, or whatever um, construction job that's out there. I mean, you can work. You don't have to have your hands out like gimme, gimme, gimme. All right, you don't have to say gimme, 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 and people feel sorry for you because you're holding up a sign that say, I need some help. Now, we all need help. It's people that's working, working hard, and they just just getting by to pay their bills, and they need some help. But you talking about you need help because you got nothing, Zippo, not a, not a damn thing. All right? All day you sat there and held up this sign. Now that could have been a job. You could have held up a sign for eight hours like you was out there eight hours patrolling the corners, trying to get some money from hard working people, cruising on through, hoping they see your sign and feel a little sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for you. I don't. Uh, I'll pray for you. I'll pray that you get some energy to be able to to stand on your own and go out there and do what you got to go do to, to to get some bread. I mean, it's not hard. If you hold on that sign, who wrote that sign anyway? Who wrote on that sign? That little thing that say, feed me, help me, give me whatever you got, anything helps. Did you write that? Did you? Well, then you can sign your name. Man, you could get a job. Don't make, you could, look, you could start drawing stuff. You can make signs for people. You can sell them. Go and get you a little table, go to a flea market, set up, sell them for a quarter, 50 cent, whatever little bit you ask them for. You can sell something real stupid and simple at a flea market. I'm just saying you got to hustle. You have to hustle. I don't knock the grind. Never. Remember that. I never knock. I don't give a damn if you're a drug dealer. If you're getting up off your couch and you're going out to hit them licks, Hit the block to go get some money. Just don't serve nothing to people I love, then you cool. But um, if you out there doing whatever you got to do to get the money, then by all means, that's what's up. But not with your hand out talking about help me like you helpless because you're not helpless. Like I said, you got all your senses. You can walk. You can talk. You can see. You can hear. It's jobs that all you do is listen. Pick up the phone. Listen. Learn how to talk to somebody. You could be a receptionist at a desk. Nobody should... Listen to me. A lot of people do feel sorry for y'all anyway. There was a point in time where I felt sorry for, uh, um, I ain't going to say homeless people, but it was a point in time I felt sorry for people. But now I don't. Like, why should I feel sorry for you when you don't even feel sorry for yourself? Because you feel sorry for yourself, then you'll do something for yourself. Get up off the couch. Get out there and get it, okay? It's not hard to get it. Get your grind on. Just because y'all on that corner holding up them signs don't mean I'm talking about y'all. I still love y'all too. I love all walks of life, but you got to be able to support yourself, okay? Maybe if somebody see that you trying, then they might help you. I don't mind helping somebody that's trying, but I ain't going to help somebody that's dying. You get what I'm saying? Not dying, leaving out. 
checking out of here, but just leaving, just forgetting all about trying to make it. I'm gonna throw the towel in, I'm gonna just survive off of everybody else's hard earned money. No, holla at your boy, it's been a minute. Salute, big ups to the big homie TNT. I'm sure he agree, we do not feel sorry for you. Get out there and get it. But to the people out there that's handicapped, they got some kind of handicap, then by all means, help them out if you can help them. But the people that can help themselves but just won't help themselves, peace out. Holla at your boy, Trey 57 Productive. Get with it to get left behind, and I'm hoping to see some positive comments down there in that, that, um, in that section. Oh, somebody also said to me, they said, what if you were in them shoes? Uh-uh, it's not happening. Because, But then again, if I was, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna do something about it. I ain't gonna be sitting up there talking about gimme, 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 gimme,